Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about how to add a layout to our project. So I'd like to ultimately print out my map and before I can do that I'm going to need a layout. So as you can see I've got one map document uh, created in my project with a number of feature classes displayed on my map. Um, I'd also like to take a note down at the bottom left corner, there is my current scale. So I'm just going to round that up to something even, to maybe uh, 1 to 130,000. Uh, something nice and even. And uh, my next job is to add a layout to this project. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab here, and I'm going to select New Layout. And I'm going to click New Layout, and I'm going to pick the size of sheet that I want. So uh, think about a sheet size that you would like. Uh, go ahead and select it if you want. I've got some metric ones down here under the uh, ISO section, so I'm going to add in that portrait uh, type layout. And notice on your uh, insert tab, uh, right beside it, you've got the layout. So here you can do a number of different things, like uh, for instance, change the orientation uh, and whatnot. So now you can also see over in my contents pane here that I've got a layout and there's nothing listed under my layout so anything that you add to your layout is going to be listed under this uh, layout heading. Now uh, I'm going to probably want to add a map frame into my layout so I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to insert a map frame. So the map frame that I was working on before is this map frame here. So I want to take this map frame and just to make it straight uh, I'm going to rename this to something different. So I'm just going to right click on it and go properties and change it to uh, main map. How about that? Say OK and there's my main map. Now I'm going to go back to the layout tab and I'm going to insert that map frame into my uh, current layout. So on the layout tab, click the insert tab on your ribbon, click map frame, and uh, here's my main map there. You can see it says that. So it's got a default extent that's set up in the properties, or I could use the current extent that's shown on the map frame. As you can see, that's 1 to 130,000. So I'm going to add that scale uh, representation into my layout. So I'm going to select it and it comes up with a select selection box and I'm just going to pick the extents of my map frame on my layout. So this will define the neat line of your map and anything inside that box that will be all of your feature classes and anything that's displayed in the map frame will be on that inside that box. So there you can see my map frame appears and uh, I've got a scale now because of the sheet size uh, the, the scale has changed so you might have to tweak that up a little bit. I can go ahead and change that to something else. I'll try one to uh, maybe 75,000 and see what that looks like. That looks like a pretty good scale for now. So notice that if I select my map frame, it highlights. I've got grips here so I can make edits to that. I can also move my frame around if I want. Now if you want to pan or zoom the actual feature classes inside your layout, you will have to go to the layout tab on your ribbon. So on your layout tab, you can then click the activate button and the activate button will take you into model space and then now you can pan and zoom around on your map. And when you are finished panning and zooming around, you should go back to the Layout tab and close that activation and that locks it up. So now anytime you right click and zoom around, it, uh, it will save for you. Now if you'd like to add other things to your map, you can go to your Insert tab. And here you can insert a grid if you want onto your map frame. And uh, it will lay out some lines and you can select it. Notice that it's now listed under the layout. So under my layout I now have a map frame and on my map frame I have a grid uh, that's set up and if you want you can right click on that grid and go properties and make some edits to the uh, map grid. There's a number of different options there where you can uh, tweak up the map grid. There's another video uh, specifically for map grids if you'd like to check that out. But uh, notice that under my uh, map frame here I've got all my feature classes displayed uh, that's listed there. So that's all the elements that are listed under that map frame. You've got other things you can add in here too like north arrows, those kinds of things. So uh, feel free to add in scale bars, legends. You've also got some dynamic text here which are uh, dynamically linked to your uh, map frame. So things like spatial reference or your scale you can add in and that will uh, define your scale 
depending on what it's currently set to. You also have some regular text here you can type in manually um, and add in other geometric shapes uh, through this uh, graphics section including pictures. So that's it for map frame uh, layouts and uh, I hope you had a good time. Thanks for watching. Bye.